Hiya folks, Steve here for Magician.com, making Minecraft modding as easy as possible. And today we're going to be running through the tutorial of how to install Audio Mod. So, starting from the Magician homepage, we're going to go to the Mod Selector and click on Core, as this is a Core Mod. And this will take us to the front page of the cores. We're going to scroll down until we see Audio Mod here, then click on that heading. That'll take us to the front page of Audio Mod, where we've got the uh, creator's credits and description and all that sort of stuff. We want to scroll scroll down to the bottom to check dependent on and conflicts with but again these ones are written pretty well so we don't have to worry too much about that and we'll scroll straight back up and go to the download and installation tab now the first thing we see here are the three big warnings up the top, two of which we have to worry about immediately. The first one is to make sure you are not running Minecraft when installing this mod. And the second one is that this tutorial assumes you followed all the instructions in the toolkit section of the Modgician website. If you haven't done that yet, you want to go sign up and do that now, but assuming you have, we shall move on. So the first step, of course, is to download the mod itself. You want to make sure that you're downloading the right version of the mod for the version of Minecraft that you're using. I'm using 1.2.4 at the moment, so we'll click on that link there, which will take us straight over to an Add Fly page. These ones are fairly easy to handle. We just have to wait till this timer in the top right has counted down from 5 to 0, and then we can click on the Skip Add page, which will start the download for us. Now I've got mine set to ask me where I want to download it. Uh, if you haven't, it'll go straight to your downloads folder, but you actually want it to go to your desktop and you find your mod downloads, double click on that. Then we click on the right number for the version of Minecraft you're using. I've got 1.2.4, so we'll go in there and click save and that'll suck it in there for us. Wonderful. So we're going to shrink this window down for the moment and go into the mod downloads folder. And then select 1.2.4 and there's the zip file we just saved. So we want to right click on that file, select 7-zip and then open archive. There we go and we'll just drag that over to the right there. And then we can shut down this window here and go back to your .minecraft shortcut which you set up in the toolkit section. We'll double click on that and find bin. It should be right up the top. And then go down till you find minecraft.jar and we'll do exactly what we did with the file we just downloaded. Right click, go to 7-zip and open archive. Sorry it went off the edge of the window there. I'm limited by the amount of space I have here. So, on the right we have the mod we just downloaded. On the left we have the opened minecraft.jar. Now we want to grab everything in the right hand window there. You can either click and drag or hit control A is your keyboard shortcut to grab everything. And then click and drag it over to the left window. When it asks you if you're sure you want to copy it, just click yes. There we go. Excellent. That's all copied over. So we can shut down this window on the right. And then as it says on the website, the penultimate stage is to look for a yellow folder called Meta Inf. If it's not there, don't worry about it. And we can see here that it's not in this occasion. But if it is there, you want to delete it immediately. Now that we know it's not there, we can shut down this window and go to the last stage, which is, of course, to load Minecraft itself. Alright, so there we have Minecraft. We'll just log in here. And basically, as soon as you see the Mojang splash screen, there you go, you know everything's probably okay, but it's still worth going in and loading up a world just to make sure that everything's cool. And there we are, everything appears to be running just fine. So that's it. Assuming you've followed all the instructions in this tutorial properly, you have a copy of Rizugami's audio mod working for your version of Minecraft. We hope you found this video useful. Feel free to come back to Modgician.com to find any other mods you want for Minecraft. Until then, good luck and good gaming. Baby, 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 baby.